Panasonic 18650 batteries. They are now operational. Guys, you see what I've done here. All in parallel. This is just a temporary setup. So you don't have to criticize or make some kind of comment. Which um, this is not a professional setup. Just to put these batteries online and ready for charging and the parallel mode is still there you see the wires so they act like fuse if the current is too much they popped all the way i've linked these batteries negative is here and the positive is on the other direction just with alligator clips i know a lot of you guys can see you can have a, a better contact or resistance I understand so you see the wires these are my balance leads or BMS battery management system and trust me guys it worked my method works so they're all there all the way positive positive linking all the batteries so that I can bring them all into a balance mode all the cells and this is what it is. I got, um, you see, six batteries here and six on the other side here. Put a cardboard in between just so that they can be stable, not sliding. And this is just ridiculously crazy um, configuration here. So I had it wired into the, um, the Victron Smart charger charge controller mppt 15070 right here so you can see the power right here so currently is uh no more sun on the panels it's uh evening here and it's trickle charging you can see the indicate indicator down here that shows it's charging here's the solar panels and let's see See that? 0 0.2 amps. 200 millivolt. 200 milliamps, sorry. There you go. That's the battery. When you see the little solar dots, it's going to give you a little dots right here that tells you it is a solar. And uh, it's bringing 10.2 watt. And we are sitting at 61.2 volt. So the open circuit, I think, is about um, 70 to 80 right now since the panels are not on the sun and the sun is going down. So, so little dots here indicate the solar panels and it's telling you that the solar panels are bringing 0 0.2 amp, which is a 200 of an amp, 200 millivolt, milliamp, sorry. So, it's bringing 0 0.2 and uh, 11.5 watts. So, I would like to see in the morning what um, the solar is going to bring us. Like I was saying earlier about my BMS systems or my bus bars and my balance leads, whatever. Why I call it my battery management system, BMS. Yeah, the fuses, or oh, these are all the old single strand conductor, and I just pass into this, and it's just working really fine. So they're balancing all these batteries. These are the top band, these are 48 volt system as well, but these are 16S. This one is a 13S. So we are sitting, but I wired them in a um, 12 volt configuration. So each block here or each module is a 12 volt. So I can flip this guy over to the other one here. We started making 
the positive going to negative here, negative going positive. So we give it to the 48 volts if I want to. But right now they're sitting at 12 volt managing the system. Then I this is the charge controller for it. This is the smart solar charge controller MPPT 15085 TR VCAM. So this one is for the 12 volt. They're sitting at a, a full charge mode. They've been sitting for a while. And once in a while, I just flip the switch, the breaker, and get the batteries all the way um, topped up again. What I've noticed with the lithium ion phosphate batteries, they tend to drop on the voltage um, uh, randomly or um, every day or night. Uh, this voltage would drop a little bit, coming to very close to 14 point something or 13.9. And as soon as this, uh, the sun is about to be up, just the panel seeing the light, they're going back on um, float. So right now you see it's flashing. That tells you is uh, like a bulk light flashing there. But uh, the solar is already disconnected. And um, this is the system, massive or crazy system I'm making here. So I'm putting the affiliate um, link on my description below. So if you happen to use the link, uh, thank you so much. And um, so that this will help the channel, we can able to bring more content like this. So... For those of you who haven't done that yet, please do that so that we can go ahead and buy more batteries. And here is another system here. Um, this is a 24 volt. This has a lithium um, ion phosphate batteries. And they are, they are sitting right here and being linked with um, the Volkswagen e-golf batteries down there. So once in a while, I flip the switch, just trickle charge them, and it has um, Midnight Whizbang Junior right there. And I'm using the Nissan Leaf Quick Disconnect for this. This is just a test site. And um, with these folks, I got e golf. Then I have the classic 150 charging this. And these are the other ones right here, which are the top band. 25 amp is the same as this one's here. So since I want to do this, talk about this guy, that's why I decided to disconnect, move that string away from here because I have five strings of them. Then you can see on my last video, they still have my BMS, the JW Solo USA BMS and balancing string. <laughs> Yeah, these are balancing and BMS configuration that charges and balance the batteries. So, this is the system. Yeah. So, we are just hibernating here since it's uh, winter. It's almost coming to, it's already getting spring, but it's not that yet here in Minnesota. It doesn't feel like that. The weather is kind of nicer. But, you know, what can I say? We're still making solar. Yeah, this is the best weather to make solar. Some people are thinking Minnesota, we have a lot of sun, uh, so, uh, sorry, snow. They think we don't make power. Maybe solar is not meant for here. I'm telling you guys, we make a lot of power on winter time. We'll ask the guys who are cold weather. Um, Canada and us, yeah, my neighbors, Canada, they will tell you we make a lot of power on, on, on this kind of weather and some other states, you know, we make a lot of power. Just the reflection alone is crazy. So guys, for those of you who haven't been in a cold weather or snowing weather, or states or countries, solar works, and it's awesome. I love winter. 
as long as um, um, the snow is not on the panels, and you're fine. Even that, they clean up themselves. So, this is the PCB for the uh, these batteries, and these are proprietary, and um, I cannot able to configure them. But if I wanted to, I can able to do real BMSs. These are like fuses. That's why I use the same string. Here you go. See? Yeah, little, tiny wires that link the batteries. See them? Right here. It's the same as my wire right here. Or oh, let me show you. One of these wires. Yeah. It's the same. So I use the same thing here. Similar. See the wire? So it's the same right here. It linked to this uh, terminal right here. So you can use uh, 13S BMS and it will work. See them right here? Right here. It's the same thing that takes the power to the batteries. So if you cut this thing off, you are ready to go and connect your BMS on these terminals. Look at that. See the wire? Right there. This one right here. So it ties to this terminal. So what am I doing wrong here? Nothing. I'm not doing anything wrong here. That's the same thing. So these guys act like a fuse. And if this one break, it, it, you just break the circuit. So, JW Solar is not crazy. I know what I'm doing. See that? Same gauge, almost the same gauge wire. So, if people are thinking we are not doing the right thing on this channel, well, they are getting it all wrong. <laughs> we know what we're doing here. We know what we're doing here. My subscribers are smart. And we are smart on this channel. If you want to see some crazy ideas, you want to see some creation or invention, how we invent things here, well, pass this video to the rest of other people so they will learn. They will learn. We are not telling people what to do. We just do our thing here. So if you like what you see here, stick around, come back, turn your subscribe and turn your notification bell. Anytime we got something, it will pop right on your channel, on your YouTube. And uh, we go from there. You will see what we're doing. But to be honest with you, can't wait till tomorrow. We don't have much left to charge at all because uh, these guys will be fully charged tomorrow. 51.36. I can't wait to use this guy and that guy right there. Time is coming, guys. Don't worry. Time is coming. We're going to do this and we're going to do it right. Like and subscribe, GW Solar USA. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Turn your notification bell. We'll bring you more.